Okay, Dial, this is your final piece of the exam. If you pass it, your whole exam is complete. I'm just about to, mate. Token! Too slow. Oh. Sorry, Dial, but that's just not sharp enough. Well, maybe a little too sharp. Has there been a rip between time and space? Dial, I think we just broke the fourth wall. What's a fourth wall? Literally, I would mean that four walls are broken. But what I'm actually saying is that it's what's keep us out of the audience. We already know we're in a fictional world. For instance, you and I are in a cartoon. What's a cartoon? A 2D motion picture. That's what we're in. <laughs> Dial, are you pondering what I'm pondering? I think so, mate, but I don't know why macaroni goes well with cheese. No, silly. I mean, we should teach these kids how to do 2D animation. And how are we gonna do that? Simple. We just exit the computer screen. <laughs> Now, let's teach these guys all the meanings about animation. Step 1 of making a 2D animated cartoon is writing. To do this, a writer needs plenty of sleep, or he daydreams, and then an idea pops out. Then he writes down what the story is going to be like and what the characters are going to do. Then he demonstrates his ideas to the director or the creator and see if they accept. Once the story was accepted, storyboarders were asked to draw what was written down in the comic form. Scripts were then written down following the storyboard so voice actors know what they're saying. Stay poor! Voices are then recorded using talented actors. Sometimes they have ideas of their own. I got an idea. How about we add in more cowboys and less hillabillies? Backgrounds were then colored in by artists, depending on the storyboard. They have to be careful not to have in any scratch marks. Once storyboarding and backgrounds are in place and all the dialogue has been recorded, animators draw every character movement frame by frame and follow the lip syncing on the dialogue. Next, each frame was drawn on a transparent sheet known as a cell. They were then painted using acrylic paint. Well, we don't do that stuff anymore. Now that we have computers, we can scan in and just color them digitally. <laughs> Finally, all the frames and the voices have been all converted into one movie using a stop-motion camera. But since this is the 21st century, we don't use a stop-motion camera anymore. We now have an animation software to do all that stuff. Rhino, Rhino, I have an idea for a cartoon. Very good, but you can present that to me later. We're still moving on. Let's look back at the early stages of animation. The first ever animated film was called Humorous Phases of Funny Faces. Dated back in 1906, it was all done in a chalkboard. That's something unusual. Dirty the Dinosaur was the first cartoon character with its own personality. This dates back in 1914, when no cell was made, however. El Posto was the first animated feature-length film worldwide, but however, that file has been lost for a long time ago, so nobody actually saw the movie today. The first American animated feature-length film, also the first in color, and also the first in cell animation, was <laughs> Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs by Disney in 1937. I also remember the first Flash animated films were released on the internet by the creator of Rampant Stimpy. We never got to, got to see them, however. But what I do know about Flash, and TV, and the US, is that Mucha Lucha is the first TV animated series in Flash in the US networks. Is that it? 
I'm afraid so, Dial. Well, that was a bit short, don't you think? For some reason, I'm unable to think about anymore. Let's just move on. I know three of the most famous animation studios back in the old ages. Talking about their mascots. Mickey Mouse, a popular icon for Disney, first appeared in Plain Crazy in 1928. Bugs Bunny of the Looney Tunes, popular icon of Warner Brothers, first appeared in 1940. But before he was popular, Porky was more popular than anybody else. Tom from Tom and Jerry, originated from MGM, now adopted by Warner Brothers. Can we talk about my idea now? All in due time, Dial! Now sit down! There are two types of traditional cell animation. One is full, the other is limited. Full animation means every single frame of the character is drawn. It also makes them more fluid. This, however, consumes more time and money. Many Disney, Warner Brothers, and MGM cartoons, for example, use full animation. This also makes lip sync a bit complicated. Isn't that right, Bugs? <laughs> Ain't I a stinker? Limited animation means only parts of the character's body moves, while the rest is so still. This was done to save time and money. It's also useful for easy lip syncing. Examples include Hanna-Barbera and anime. Ain't that right, Yogi Bear? Even if I'm limited, I am still smarter than the average bear. Before computers were made, animation had to rely on traditional ink and pink. This was very tiring because they had to make sure there were no missing gaps or spills, or even smudges. Man, I can't imagine how long that would take for every single frame. Now with computer technology, cartoon drawings were scanned into the computers and thus painted using digital softwares like Photoshop or Fireworks. This can even correct any mistakes. Anime, French for animation, adopted by the Japanese, is another popular source of animation. It is usually done in Japan by talented artists. However, despite being super detailed, anime is very expensive to make and is often limited or off sync. Here's an example. You have disgraced my people. We shall engage in combat. I have an anime counterpart who's more on sync and more emotional, right? Right now. In the late 1990s, a popular 2D computer animation software was made called Flash. It was a phenomenon for the internet. The first Flash product ever released on the internet was by the creator of Ren and Stimpy. You didn't get to see it, however. Starting from 2003, America uses Flash for TV shows such as Mucha Lucha, Johnny Test, and my favorite, My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. Man, it's hard to believe how a little girl's show could become a popular thing for male teens and male grown-ups. Ain't that right, Fluttershy? In 2005, traditional animation has been declined in movies due to the popularity of computer animation. However, there were some traditional but limited animation products still around TV at that time. That all changed in 2009 when a new Disney movie, The Princess and the Frog, was released. It was all in full traditional animation. It spiked up the interest again. Even though 3D animation is still going higher, 2D animation never dies and will always continue for those who are 2D animation fans. If you got an idea for a 2D animation for the internet, TV, or film, let us know by our email address uh, at- Rhino, I don't think we have an email address. Oh. Whoops. Uh... Sorry. Uh... I better go. Can we talk about my thing now? Fine. What is it called? Uh... Darn it! I lost it now! Okay, so what have we learned about animation today? Come on, buddy, you can tell me. I never really paid any attention to it. What? Oh. <laughs> Just kidding. I did pay attention to everything. Replay the video in case you didn't. After the credits.